Before starting the machine, it first needs to be connected to your electricity grid and to your pneumatic network. If it's not done yet, we are going to electrically and pneumatically connect the machine to your company grid according to the existing standard applied in your country. We are going to install the sockets for your different machine interface. You first open the electrical cabinet, then you pull out the three sockets from their designated location. Install the locking system of the sockets. Make sure the seal is properly seated behind this locking system. Then tighten the four fixation screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Don't over tight, you don't need. You will only damage the seal if you over tight. Then repeat the operation on the two other sockets. Position the three sockets to be able to fix them to their locking system and make sure the orientation of those sockets is correct. Just follow the video for that. Then tighten the four fixation screws for each socket and the job is done. Let's connect the machine electrically. To do that, you take the power cable from customer, you pass it through the bulkhead and you tighten the external wing after you have enough length. You need to make sure this cable is not electrified prior to do this installation. Let's remove the protective cover for the permanent terminal and connect the earth at first. Then in this order, the third phase Then the second phase. And you finish by the first phase. Make sure your connection are solid and use a zip tie to anchor the harness to the cabinet. If you have a neutral wire in the customer harness, just tape the extremity of this one to make it non-conductive and we install the cover. This next step requires electrical ability because the customer power cable need to be electrified control that we have 400 volt between each faces of the main switch. So L1 to L2, L1 to L3 and L2 to L3. We need now to check that we have 240 volt between L1 to ground, L2 to ground and L3 to ground. If all the faces connection from the customer electrical grid to the machine has been done properly, the water field should be turning clockwise. If it's the case and all of your measurements are okay, you can put back the protection on the main switch. Electrical power has been provided to the machine. It is not time to provide air to the machine. Use the air inlet to soak. 